Hey everyone, this is a video on ISO for the instant box camera. Although ISO works with any type of photography, no matter if you use digital or analog photography. So what is ISO? ISO is a standard that defines the light sensitivity. So if you use film photography, for example, you might have a film that indicates 100, 200, 400. So the higher the number, the more light sensitive the film material is. So for black and white film, that's basically the density of silver halides. The higher your ISO is on a film, the more grains you have because of that. And it's similar to digital photography, where the higher we set our ISO on the sensor, the more sort of grains we have, the more noise we have on the digital sensor. Now, with photographic paper that we used in the instant box camera, we have an ISO, depending on the paper, from three to six, some 12, but very rarely. So that is a very, very low ISO and a very low light sensitivity because these papers were not designed for outdoor use, but for the darkroom. So that means we need long exposure times and we have a separate video on that. If you use, for example, multigrade paper, that is a paper designed also for the darkroom to change the tonality of the paper, we use filters. So you might have a filter set. This one here is from FOMA, but there's also the one from Ilford. So if you use a filter in combination with your paper, you might have to have a different ISO setting. So my paper I know is about ISO 3, but, or ISO 4 maybe, but with a filter, it's only two or three. And that you have to test out. So if you put something in front of the lens, the ISO of course changes the light sensitivity not to forget that. So, what ISO does your paper have? Sometimes there is an indication on the actual paper, but there's also a big community out there that you can consult. Just type in Google, Ilford, multigrade, pearl paper, what is the ISO, you will find it. Why is the ISO important? Because when we measure the light with an instant box camera, we have only the aperture available on our lens and we have to determine the ISO of the paper before we determine the time we actually use on the shutter speed. So the ISO is important. I would say with this paper I know it's about 3, so I want to photograph with an aperture of 8. We have a video on that. I set my ISO to 3 and with my light meter, I have mine for example on the mobile phone, I determine the shutter speed. So the correlation between aperture, shutter speed and ISO is the key for any type of photography.